Welcome back, Ryan. PC Trimble joins us now, and we're going to take a look at what's trending. Yes. Well, first off, Merry Christmas, Casey. Thank you so much, you no too. No problem. Thank you so much. I hope you had a great Christmas. It's been going well so far. So what you got for us, Ryan? Okay. So I have a fun story out of uh, Mississippi. So we all know the Salvation Army bell ringer who stands outside of stores and gets donations during the holidays. Well, one bell ringer in Mississippi got more than just a dollar or two. Someone dropped a pair of wedding rings into the bucket with this note. Look, it says, love can last a lifetime, and it should. Perhaps as a young man who wishes to marry, but being of modest income cannot afford a big diamond. Perhaps the Salvation Army knows of a Christian couple wishing to make a commitment for life to each other. If so, please give these rings to that special young man for his bride. The woman who dropped off the rings has not come forward. But if you think that maybe you and your uh, lover should be that couple, <laughs> you can go on the Salvation Army's website and enter because uh, they're doing a contest to give the rings away. Wait, that is so nice. Isn't that so cool? Oh my gosh, that is so nice. And a lot of times, you know, sometimes you, you wonder where actually things go when they donate to charity. But here's a very good example of a charity using actually what's given to it to help real life people. I love that, very cool. I wonder who is gonna end up with those rings. They look nice. Yeah, if it ends up being you, let us know, because we wanna run a story about it. Very cool. Yes, so from one diamond to another, but this is a diamond <laughs> of a human being. Okay, so this happened last week, but it's Christmas related, so I just had to bring Good. it up, you guys. Yes. Okay, so Beyonce has been full of surprises recently. Namely, she released a brand new album without any free promotion. But last Friday, Beyonce herself, uh, she showed up in a Walmart in Massachusetts casually announced over the intercom that she would pay, get this, for the first $50 of everyone in the store's purchases. Oh my gosh. Yeah, and just like casually on the way, way out, she purchased a baby doll for her daughter Blue Ivy, as well as, oh, you know, just a copy of her new album, um, which is titled simply Beyonce. Queen B. Queen B. We love her. We love her over here. She's yeah. fabulous. Yeah, yeah. And I downloaded that album that exact night, and I stayed up really late listening to it. How is it? It is really, really good. It's a lot like slower. It's not as like dance oriented, but it's still awesome. She is fabulous. I love that she also bought Blue and uh, um, Doll too. Yeah, I know. Just I know. from Walmart. Just like you know, being a casual, normal mom, you know, ruling the universe. Picking up a doll. Picking up a doll. <laughs> Very cool. Love her. Yeah. Okay. So here's another fun thing. If you were watching us last night, you probably saw me tracking Santa Claus. Well, during his Christmas night delivery, um, you probably wondered, how does he even know to get everyone? I mean, Santa has a GPS now and a tablet, but you'd be surprised because his requests are still mailed the old-fashioned way, by the post. A worldwide mailing organization says that this year, Santa probably got around 7 million letters. While the results aren't completely in yet, last year the country that sent the most letters was La France, followed by our neighbors to North Canada, while we here in the U.S. came in third, sending around 1 million letters in 2012. Very cool. And you know what the coolest thing is? They all get answered, and they all get answered in the sender's native language. I love that. Isn't that neat? Very cool. Jump oh, to oh. what's next. Okay, so here's Very the last cool. story. Thank you, yeah. So, okay, so another sort of music thing. Christina Aguilera posted a pic to her Twitter that caused quite a commotion among her fans. As you can see here, she says, working on something special, happy holidays to all. So, she's in a recording studio there, and she has not released any more information about what she could be planning. But some fans, this fan, are hoping she's recording vocals <laughs> for a remix of Do What You Want, which is the latest song, song ever. Which, yes, we love. So good. That she performed with Gaga on The Voice a few weeks ago, and fans have been hoping for an official version ever since the two paired up. Very cool. I love that. Well, thanks for what's trending. No we'll problem. be back thanks after the break. Me.